And I think it was like, we were on the fourth or fifth take and I noticed there's blood on the back of her heel, like bleeding through her white 1950 socks. And so I'm like, okay, medic, we need to stop. Let's get the bandages. And Brie was like, no, just do it. We got this. This is the one we're getting it. And she just powered through, literally bled for her craft. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jonathan Bloomberg, writing for a movie scene in Sweden. Nice to Hi, meet you. Nice to meet you. Right back at you. Uh, so first of all, uh, I, I've obviously seen the entire uh, season and I'm loving uh, the show. It's one of my favorites this year. Uh, to, uh, and I watch a lot of TV, so that's saying a lot. Oh, thank uh, you so much. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> so, uh, but I also, before we get right into that, I, I wanted to shout out uh, Jury Duty, which I also love. So oh, so thank thanks you. for that. So, so <laughs> I, I was wondering... Talk. It's annoying how talented he is. It's really... <laughs> I, I know. So so I was wondering how it it, it was to kind of uh, going back and forth between those kind of projects because that's so different, but both are magnificent. With everything with everything that I do, I always try to approach it from uh, from character and 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 also there's worlds that I want to inhabit. And so in jury duty, it was obviously uh, that was an idea that I've had for forever, and the idea of taking kind of this very mundane world. And then combining it with a hidden camera aspect was something that was really exciting and terrifying. Um, I also like to be terrified starting a project. I think that's a good way to work really hard and 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 not sleep well. Um, and with lessons in chemistry, you know, that was I read that book and completely fell in love with Elizabeth and with Calvin, and was so taken with the twists and the turns of the story and the themes of it and the dialogue. And it was just it was just beautiful. And I really, it felt, it felt so human to me. Um, there were so many different experiences that the characters were, uh, were going through and confronting and the prospect of adapting something like that was just so, I, I was very intimidated by it uh, because I, I felt like I needed to do right by the source material. Uh, but I was, I was so compelled to it in a way that, you know, rarely, rarely I have in my career. I see, yeah. Um, and while watching it, I, I was kind of thinking about not that the shows um, um, on their own are similar, but I was thinking about watching The Queen's Gambit, feeling like, oh, I really like this. I, I really hope people will find it. And, and luckily, in that case, they, they, they did. Um, and I, I felt that while watching this, too, like it's excellent. Uh, and, and I hope people will, will find it. Uh, but in this kind of climate where there are so many different shows and, and, and everything like that, um, what do you do to try to kind of like not, not uh, get lost in the mix, so to say? Uh, what, what were your uh, thoughts about that? Our hope is that people will see the show and be moved by it and share it with others. And that, um, you know, if, that word of mouth will will serve to help bring people to the show. But really, we can't predict how the world is going to think about the show, if people will see it or not. All we can do is really focus on making the very best thing that we can and making every decision from love and um, working as hard as we can. And, and then the rest um, is not up to us. Yeah. And uh, uh, working with um, Brie, Brie Larson um, in in this uh, like um, main role, uh, she she really kind of embodies this character in, in a way that I've not not seen uh, at least not this year from from any other performances. So how was it working with her on set? I mean, Brie Larson is a dream actor for any director. She's incredibly hardworking, incredibly smart. Um, she also is a filmmaker in her own right. So she understands, um, you know, what we're doing or why a setup might be taking a bit more time because she understands the cinema behind it as well. Um, and with Brie, um, she and I found a shared language of inquiry where we were always being as curious as possible, asking questions, looking at how can we make a deeper choice. Um, and that's that's the thing I love most about being a director. That's where I have the most fun is getting to play with someone who wants to dig deep like that with me. 
Um, and and Brie was like, you know, there were times just to give you an example of so, uh, you know how dedicated she is to her craft. There was one shot where she's wearing these really uncomfortable 1950s shoes, and she has to run down these steps through crowds of people. And it's taking us a second to get the shot right because there's a lot of choreography with all the the extras moving back and forth. And I think it was like we were on the fourth or fifth take, and I noticed there's blood on the back of her heel, like bleeding through her white 1950s socks. And so I'm like, okay, medic, we need to stop. Let's get the bandages. And Brie was like, no, just do it. We got this. This is the one we're getting it. And she just powered through, literally bled for her craft <laughs> on screen. So I just feel like as a director, that's, I mean, that kind of dedication is all you can ask for. For sure. So, well, it, it definitely paid off. So best of luck with the premiere now. I'm, I'm sure it will go great. And I, I hope word of mouth will, will do uh, the work that, that needs to be done here. So thanks for talking with me. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank tell you tell so your much. friends. Exactly. <laughs> I, I will. <laughs> bye. Bye bye. bye. Nice to meet you.